Hello, it's Alex Gray for the World Poker Tour, and I am actually joined with one of the WPT Seminole Hard Rock Poker Showdown table finalists, Jerry Wong, who's kindly invited me to his home here in Florida, a stone's throw away from the Hard Rock. A tactful move? Uh, yeah, it's a good location to be. I'm very close to the Hard Rock. I play there pretty frequently. I play at the Isle, I play at Coconut Creek Casino, and it's convenient to everything, and it's a great place to raise a kid. Yeah, and we're actually now with this televised event. This isn't your first televised event, you're becoming somewhat of a TV star now. <laughs> and do you feel like your poker game is a little bit affected when the TV, when, when the cameras are on you? And do you get a little bit star, like a bit nervous? Uh, there's a little bit of nerves uh, with uh, just having my play scrutinized a little bit that normally wouldn't be. But uh, outside of that, I'm pretty comfortable under the lights, I think. And for this event, you actually had two buy-ins. Um, and after you bust out the first time, did you feel like, oh, I can't bother it anymore, I'm gonna pack it in? Or were you convinced that you were always gonna re-buy in until you made it? I was gonna go back and play some 2-5 No Limit. And I just decided, Jerry, you're a champion. <laughs> you shouldn't pack it in. You should go back in there and fight again, because you can do it. And I went back in. And I did it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and actually on this final table is, is Chad, who is a friend of yours. And is it weird playing against a friend on, on a table? Or do you kind of just leave your friendship at the door and forget about it and you just see him as another opponent? Or... Uh, Chad's a good friend of mine. We play together maybe at least twice or three times a week. We play for pretty meaningful amounts of money. Uh, I don't think our friendship really is affected by uh, our poker battles or anything like that. Have you played in the final table with him yet? Uh, no, we haven't played <laughs> the final table together. Chad, Chad doesn't make final tables. <laughs> Do you hear this, Chad? This is fighting talk. And I read that you said with your winnings, you're going to spend it on more diapers. <laughs> yeah, for sure. This is a pretty unique answer to a question that everyone always loves to know the answer to. Because you do have a child who is 16 months old and you have baby number two on the way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you feel that now having children, this has impacted how you play poker? Do you think it's changed the style of your play or? Um, most people, I think when they have a baby, they tend to be a little bit more conservative and I might have just taken the opposite and just started blasting even harder. <laughs> just trying to, you know, make them set for life all at once or something. I don't know what it is, but yeah, I have the baby here now, and then we have another one on the way. So it obviously motivates me to uh, to work hard and to provide for them. Uh, I don't think it's really changed my style too much. Though. And actually, you have a degree in accounting and finance. Um, do you feel like this has helped your poker career? Do you feel like the skills that you learned in your degree have directly helped your play, have helped you manage your money? What I learned in college was less beneficial to my poker game itself and more beneficial to how I treat poker as a business, uh, just as you know, an occupation or a career, and it didn't really help me too much in terms of play itself. Hey! Hello! College did help me meet my wife. Yeah! And with my wife, we had this little guy right here, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> He is so cute. I saw a meme about you. Yeah. I don't know who made it. Um, it's probably a warm pun, I'm gonna guess. Sit back, relax, and hum my lung. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does this mean? Um, I don't know. Hum my lung means suck my <laughs> in Chinese. So, um, I guess somebody took it and ran with it. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly who did that. <laughs> Hey Joe, thanks so much for chatting with me and good luck for the final table. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching guys. And just to remind you that the WPT Seminole Hard Rock Poker Showdown will take place on the 30th of May at the HyperX Esports Arena inside the Luxor in Las Vegas. So tune in and find out who is going to take home the $715,175. Thank you so much for watching and for more information just head to WPT.com.